TI4. We've got S4 versus Ferrari. Your TI2 champion solo mid player up against your TI3 champion solo mid player. We've got S4 on the dire side representing Alliance. We've got Ferrari on the Radiant representing IG. I'm Gods and joining me is Merlini. Do you think Ferrari still has it or is this going to be uh, too tough to call? I think Ferrari has it. Right. I would give him like maybe a little over 60-40 edge in this. Ferrari is... He's he's just bullies a lot more, I think, than S4. Um, S4, you'll rarely see him go like past past the midline of the creep wave, and you can battle. tell the level of aggressiveness from players. I think like Dendi, Ferrari, RTZ is pretty aggressive too. But S4, he's like the slow and consistent player and wins by attrition, um, and capitalizes on opponents' mistakes and tries to minimize his own. He didn't really make any mistakes last game. He yeah. he just didn't capitalize on very very small opportunities and didn't create opportunities for himself which is better i think for a competitive game but in a 1v1 you have to get the edge somehow and you know it's it's a very different mindset because like in this you can get as aggressive as you want you can sit on your opponent's heal you there's no threat of ganks coming in from supports you can be as out of position as you want as long as that opponent opposing mid hero is not going to kill you so it comes down to the sf versus sf positioning not quite as important in this one unless you get a big advantage and you're trying to zone your opponent out this is all about getting those early souls getting those early last hits and trying to mess up your opponent as much as possible interestingly ferrari has gone for the tango's wraith band you usually been seeing wraith band and branches with this and this does give s4 the two extra damage to start things off which doesn't sound like much but when every soul counts this could make a difference and S4 has better wow. creep positioning too. He's standing yeah. on top of his hill. And Ferrari finally has vision due to this one lone stream, but at the same time, he can't really do that much about it. And now he's trying to harass S4 and make him consider uh, getting some regen early, which will hurt his bottle timing. But at the same time, we actually haven't seen that many bottles, not as much as I expected in this format. S4 crushing right now. Finally, Ferrari gets the last hit, but it's already five souls to one soul, and S4 is the two branches on top of this. That's a good, like, 10, ba 10 damage advantage going S4's way. I don't think it's that big of a deal, because SF versus SF, eventually you won't actually be right-clicking creeps down, yeah. and you'll be raising, but that time is pretty far into the future, and you can't be thinking about, like, six or seven minutes ahead when it's only one minute in, so S4 should probably press his advantage. He has seven souls to two, so we have 53 base damage on Ferrari to 67, now 69 on S4. This is a really bad start. Not to mention the, these denies start adding up. S4 is going to hit level 3 first. Oh no, he doesn't hit level 3 first. Actually, S4 waiting on a couple creeps to come to his tower. So Ferrari needs these last hits. He's not even getting these ones. S4 just sneaking every deny possible. Getting these last hits under tower. Getting absolutely everything. 13, make actually 12 souls now up, to, up for grabs. He can't actually go beyond this until he hits level 4, but... Ferrari is just getting crushed in the early game, at least. Yeah, the position of the creep wave is just continually in S4's favor, and Ferrari... <laughs> oh, I like this play. Yeah. He's got Tango Salve, you've got to get aggressive like this. A double raise, and he gets the kill, and hey, that's GG right there. So he's going to Tango up and try and bully S4, even though he's behind. It's very smart for him. One right click in a race. Oh, he was going for it there. He takes a lot of damage. If he got the right click there, it's GG. Now S4 going to try to turn this one around. Not going to get the chance to. Raze misses the Salvin Ferrari. That was very... Oh, he cancels the Salve. Brings out another. Wow, Ooh. big plays from Ferrari. Oh my, he was really far behind in terms of souls. He pushes S4 and makes him think like, wow, this guy's all up on my grill. I can't even see us at all. And then he fakes back. He, he baits out a raise, which actually pushes the creep wave towards Ferrari's favor. And now the creep, creep equilibrium is on Ferrari's side. And s was out of mana. He like, tried to use a raise to cancel a salve and... He's just used his mana kind of inefficiently compared to Ferrari, who used his mana to get back into this 1v1. He's still behind on souls, but it's no longer as big of a difference. Mm -hmm. It's still looking bad for Ferrari, though. Like, at the end of the day, he's still... Five last hits, three denies to the 12-10 of S4. But it hasn't been on his hill yet, and this will be the first time that the creep waves will be on his hill. Yeah. So it's not the end of the world. It is an invisibility rune on Bono, and no one has given given any quarter to check the runes. No one, no one cares about this room right now. S4 will check top room. He pokes his nose up and sees it's not there. So if he ever pushes out the wave, like when he gets his ball, he may double raise it. He knows the rune is waiting for him bottom, but he's probably not considering doing that until at least one more creep wave. As there's his bottle coming out. So after this creep wave now, maybe he considers going for that rune. 
So the soul difference is only six, though. So even though the CS board looks really badly in terms of uh, CS, S4 doesn't have that big of an edge because Necromastery yeah. is not that high level yet. Level five on S4, though, and I feel this may be the... Yeah, he's going to start raising now. He's using this mana up as early as possible. Ferrari does get some denies off of this, but S4's going for this rune. He's going to push out this wave, go for the bottom rune. Once this last hit, and we'll get it. So he's going to get an invis rune. Doesn't get there before the four-minute mark, so it's just going to be one rune for him. Yeah, he can potentially get a kill with a triple raise if he catches Ferrari off guard and Ferrari won't be able to top himself off since his bottle is on his way back home. No courier upgrade yet for Ferrari, no magic either to save him. So this could potentially be the death. Let's see if S4 does use the rune and he will not. I think Ferrari doesn't mind that. At this point, Ferrari getting the lane pushed to his tower is good because that gets him some safe, easy last hit. So even though S4 gets a rune, it's like, well, they're even on souls. Yeah, they're back at 20. Even on Souls, S4 with the last advantage means he just has that slight bit of edge on farm. We'll get his boots a bit faster. Uh, I believe boots are, yeah, boots on the career. They're going to come out now, get delivered. As for Ferrari, he's got the money for boots, but he actually hasn't got the career at base right now. It's bringing out his bottle. But boots doesn't actually help for man fights, so no. both he, both players have to realize this, and it's nice for getting in a long range raise, whereas the other player can't, because you can bounce in and out of the range and be very elusive. But in terms of just straight right click man fights and triple raises, yep. it doesn't help that much. So no yeah. boots versus boots means you can't run away though. That's yes. the big wire. And you have to think twice about checking. Yes. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna man fight. S4's got the boots. He can chase down Ferrari. Ferrari's gonna make a run for it. S4's gonna raise in two seconds time. Gets the right click. Ferrari's gonna turn and fight. He misses. Both both raises though, S4 gets the kill, he is your champion, Alliances returning from TI3 as champions and S4 says I'll start it off with a bang, takes the 1v1 championship here in Seattle, Ferrari missing both raises. Redemption from last year where he got schooled on Magnus versus Magnus and S4. Was that by Ferrari as well? No, that was by Ice Ice Ice, but... Oh, man.